In this edition of Curiosity Connect, let's explore the incredible world of nature's master chef, honeybees, and take a closer look at how honey is made by the amazing honeybees. The honeybee, a wondrous insect, stands as a remarkable ambassador of the natural world. With a graceful elegance, it flits among the vibrant petals of countless flowers, collecting nectar with precision. This humble worker transforms this nectar into a liquid gold, known as honey, a gift to both bees and human alike. Beyond its role as nature's confectioner, the honey bee performs an essential service, tirelessly pollinating the blooms it visits. It is through this intricate partnership with flora that the honey bee stitches the very fabric of ecosystems, enabling the growth of fruits, vegetables, and countless plants that sustain life on Earth. A bee colony, like a big family with around 60,000 bees, can explore up to 50 million flowers every day to collect nectar that will become the raw material towards their process of making honey. They have earned their title as busy bees with every flower they grace. To make honey, the working bees fly up to 5 kilometers to find sweet flower nectar. On each trip, they visit about 50 to 100 flowers. It's like a sweet treasure hunt. Bees make honey through a fascinating and highly organized process that involves the collection of nectar from flowers, its transformation within the bee's body, and its storage in honeycombs. Here's a step-by-step -step explanation. Step 1 Foraging for Nectar Worker bees leave the hive to forage for nectar from flowers. They have specialized adaptations, such as long proboscises, tongue-like structures, to extract nectar from the flowers. Step 2 Collecting Nectar The foraging bees use their proboscises to suck up nectar droplets from the flower's special nectar-making organ, called the nectary. Nectar is a sugary, watery substance that serves as the primary raw material for honey production. Step 3 Storage and Enzyme Addition As the bees collect nectar, they store it in a specialized part called the honey stomach. While in the honey stomach, the bees add enzymes to the nectar. These enzymes help break down the complex sugars in the nectar into simpler sugars that are less prone to crystallization, or becoming solid. Step 4. Return to the hive and transfer to house bees. Once a foraging bee has collected a load of nectar, it returns to the beehive. Within the hive, the forager bees passes the nectar onto another younger bees called the house bees. Step 5. Storage and evaporation. The nectar is passed mouth to mouth from one house bee to another. This process further breaks down sugars and begins to reduce the water content of the nectar. The nectar is then deposited into hexagonal cells in the honeycomb. The bees then fan their wings to promote air circulation, which helps further evaporate the water content in the nectar. This process reduces the nectar's moisture content from about 70 to 80 percent to around 17 to 20 percent. When the water content gets below 20%, the honey is ready or ripe. Step 6 Wax Capping When the honey reaches the desired moisture level and consistency, house bees seal the cell with a wax capping kind of like a little honey jar, to protect the honey from moisture and contaminants. Step 7 Ripening and Long-Term Storage the sealed honeycomb cells are left undisturbed for a period of time, allowing the honey to further ripen and develop its unique flavor and characteristics. Honey can be stored indefinitely in this sealed honeycomb cell. At times when the flowers have finished blooming and there's not as much nectar available, the bees can open this lid and share the honey they saved. In conclusion, honey serves as the sustenance for bees. When nectar is abundant, a colony accumulates enough honey for storage. During times of scarce flowers or unfavorable weather conditions that hinder foraging, bees rely on their stored honey reserves. 
So, the next time you savor a spoonful of honey, take a moment to appreciate the industrious teamwork of these remarkable insects that goes into its making.